Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name's Caitlin and today I'm going to be knitting my own bag. I got this box of wool from a craft fair for only 4 99 and there's eight balls of wool in there and I figured this might be enough to make a whole bag. I don't have a pattern that I'm following, I'm just going to be making it up as I go along and hopefully it turns out nice. I have been practicing my knitting. I've done a couple of scarves and I've also made some little slippers and I've been practicing other techniques like other stitches so I have been practicing my knitting skills so I don't know how this is going to go but hopefully it'll go well and hopefully I'll get a nice bag at the end. I got this bundle of wool from a craft fair and the stall that I bought it from is a store that is local to me and is actually shutting down, it's actually now shut down so they were selling off all of their wool really cheap and I thought I could get my hand on this bundle, it was only £4.99 for 8 balls of wool and I thought that was a bargain, I didn't hate any of the colours, I've got a couple of browns, greens, a silver, brick, pink and then this colour is a petrol colour, it's teal and you need 4mm needles for this wool so the first thing that I'm doing is casting on and I'm starting with this teal colour as it was one of my favourites out of the pack I'm not really sure what I'm going to use the bag for just yet. I'm probably not going to use it as like my everyday bag or my work bag. But I want it to be big enough that I can hold my laptop anyway just in case. So I'm casting on 100 stitches. And my plan is to make one side first. And then duplicate it for the second side. And then seam them together at the end. So I need to make sure I have enough to keep me through to the second side as well. I can't use too much of one colour because I want it to be exactly the same on the back. Here we are on day two. I haven't done very much just yet. All I've done is the first few rows. It has started to curl at the bottom, but obviously when this is a bag, this will be sewn in so it won't curl so much. But this is how long I've got so far. This is just gonna be one side of the bag and I want the back to be matching. So everything that I do, I'm writing down how many rows I've done and I'm also weighing the wool just to make sure I have enough that's going to last me to do front and back. I don't want to do well, let's say 20 rows in green for example and then not have enough to do 20 rows in green on the other side. So far I really like it. I'm excited to see how this is going to look when it's finished. It's going to be quite a big bag as you can see and I'm just going to keep knitting. Okay, so we are on day three now, and we are at about, let's see, 13 inches? It is about 13 inches. I'm hoping to get it to about 18 inches in total, so I've still got a little chunk left to go on the one side. I'm really liking it so far. I'm hoping that um, once I finish the other side and then sew it all together, it's gonna look really, really nice. I'm really liking the colours that I've used. When I picked up that box, the wools were already in the box, so I didn't select the colours. I just paid five pounds for the whole box, basically. But I'm really happy with the colours and with how they work together. So I'm just gonna do a couple more rows in this silver colour and see how I get on. Okay. 
Okay, we are still on day three. Sorry about the poor lighting. I've just cast off the one side of my bag and I just did a rib knit at the top just to stop it curling like, like it is here because obviously this is going to be the top of the bag. Uh, my sister's here with me, by the way. She is also knitting. She doesn't want to be on camera. But you want to show them what you're knitting? She's making a scarf. She's making a, what's it called? Feather and fan. Feather and fan scarf for my nan, I think. For my nan. Which is so nice. And we are not there yet. <laughs> we are not at this stage yet. We are still doing plain, plain old normal squares. But yeah, now I'm making a start on my second side. It has been a couple of days since I last checked in. So I think I last did my knitting on Thursday and it's now Sunday. So I haven't done anything for a little while. I've been cleaning and I also had our nieces and nephew come over for a sleepover last night. So that's why I look so tired. Just going over where I left off. So this is my completed one side. Uh, I've just done ribbon on the top to stop it from curling like, like this on the top. So that side is complete and I have started the second side i'm not very far into it so i'm a bit tangled up in a minute i have started the other side and i'm now on my third color which is brown so i've got a couple of rows left in it in brown and then we'll just work our way up through the colors and i'm also watching harry potter <laughs> Okay, I've now finished my second piece. It's obviously identical to the first one. Um, I didn't film it much because it's literally just a, a repeat of what I've already done. But here it is. My next step is going to be to sew this together. So I'll sew along the bottom, inside out, sew along the sides here. And then I'm going to make a handle for the top part. I have watched some YouTube videos to see how I can make the handle for my bag and one method that I've seen that looked quite good was um, where you use double pointed needles which I don't actually have so I'm just gonna use this. I mean this is kind of like double pointed needle right? If I just do my knitting here, push it around to this side. It's kind of the same thing, I think. So if there's only one way I could find out anyway. I'm just going to give it a try. And hopefully I get the handle that I want. I'm going to make two handles for um, one for each piece. But first things first, I'm just going to sew all of this together. Obviously these parts are curled. I want to maybe give it a steam. I don't know, to see if it needs it after I've sewn it together. Because I don't want the edges to be all like that. But yeah, I'm really excited now. I'm going to start sewing this together. So I am planning to put a lining inside the bag so I don't feel the need to weave in any of my ends because I'm going to be um, covering them up inside the bag with the lining. So what I'm just going to do is tie the ends together uh, where I've changed colours and that should keep them nice and secure and then cut them not too short but short enough so when I put the lining in you're not going to see any of those ends.
here I am casting on the stitches to make my handle and I'm just going to cast on 8 stitches. I've already done one handle because I wanted to test out to see if it would work and it did. So now I'm doing my second handle and I'm using pink and brick. And here I've knitted up a little patch for the front of the bag and I'm just trying to embroider on some flowers onto the bag. Um, I've never really done embroidery so I'm really making up as I go along and just hoping it's going to turn out nice. And I want to embroider some little flowers on there. For the lining of the bag I've chosen this navy star print and before I sew it up I'm just going to iron it out to make sure all of the creases are out. Once I've finished ironing it I'm going to cut it to the right size and sew up the edges and pop it inside my bag. Before I sew on the lining I just want to sew my patch on and my handles and I do like the colour choice for my handles although I do think it looks a little bit like bacon. I don't know if it's just me but it's the pink and the red, it definitely looks a bit bacony to me. Here is everything sewn onto my bag, all of it sewn together. I just need to get the lining now inside and I'm really happy with how this is turning out so far. And hopefully the lining is going to give it a bit more structure. It's a bit floppy at the minute being um, just made completely of wool. And I'm hoping the lining is going to give the bag some more structure as well. I'm now sewing the lining of the bag on the edges and I'm doing that using my sewing machine. But when I sew the lining to the inside of the bag, I'm going to do that by hand. And here is my bag completed. I am so happy with how this turned out. I love the little patch on the front. I love the lining inside. I just love everything about it. The lining definitely gave the bag more structure and the handles still do look like bacon, but I'm so happy with it. It's giving me some mad Molly Weasley vibes. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments and let me know if you try this out yourselves at home or if you've already made a bag yourselves at home. I would love to hear about it. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching.